Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix if you're having the trouble with EA Sports FC26 splash screen crash stuck on splash screen stuck on EAFC26 logo screen and if you're facing this particular trouble and this is what you have to do. So the first and foremost step is all about we need to verify and repair the game file. So to do so, we just need to go over here in the file explorer, I mean on the Steam first. And first, once you get into the Steam, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, go to the installer file. And there is an option called verify integrity of game file. Just click on this one and it will take a little bit of time because every files will be cross-checked. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, we'll be having these kind of trouble. So make sure that you have to try these and you have to check. Next one is all about, we need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So what we need to do is I'll be providing a link in the description to the windows over here. I'll be providing a link to, to this in the video description. That's that is to the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable latest supports from where you can download this and install it. So you can just click on this one and download and install. So based on a system configuration. So mine is x64 based processor. So I have to download this one. If your system is based on x86, you have to download this one and you have to check that might work. Next one is all about we need to run the game as the administrator. Now from the game installation folder, try compatibility mode and disable full screen optimization and run the EA and cheat game service launcher. So to do so, we just need to go to the game now from here right click and go to manage click on browse local file that will take you to the game installation folder or you can just go over here click on the file explorer go to this pc go to local disk d steam library steam apps go to common now from here click on fc26 now from here you have to launch the game before that right click on this one go to show more options now from here just wait go to the properties go to compatibility Put a check on run this program in the compatibility mode. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. Put a check on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. And also we have to run the EA and the cheat game service launcher. We have to run this as an administrator. Then you have to check that might work in some cases. So you can try this out. That might work. Next up is all about we need to repair, update or uninstall and reinstall the EC and the cheat. So I'll be providing a link in the description that's going to take you to install the EA, EA and the cheat. So in my case, I have already given it. So over here, as you can see, this is the EA and the cheat. So let me click on this one. So the Andy cheat will be downloaded. So as you can see, once you download the Andy cheat, what you need to do is first, we need to repair the game file. Then we need to update it. Then we need to uninstall it. Then we have to reinstall it. Four kind of process we have to try. So let me wait for this to get completely done. Now click on this one. Now go over here, right click and you have to open it. Just wait. Let me minimize this. Go for yes. Now first, as you can see, we need to repair it. So before that, click on the drop down menu. Go to install at FC26. Click on repair. Now go for OK. So first we need to select the game folder. So let me sc scroll down here this PC. Navigate to the game. In my case it is on D. So get into this. Steam library. Steam apps. Common. FC26. Sorry. Just go back. Select the folder and select it. Now I have to click on repair. So which I already did. So this will take a little bit of time. So once you get a message popping up here which says the repair is successfully done once you do, just go for okay let me sorry let me select the folder program file sorry not program file steam library steam apps common fc26 now just wait so uh, wait for that to get completely done it says it is done now after the repair is done now we need to click on update 
So what happens is we have to try four step repair, update, uninstall. Then we have to install it back. Right now it says update check is success. Now click on uninstall it. So now after the uninstall for title is success. After this, we have to click on install button. Now this will take a little bit of time. So after this is successfully done, as you can see, install is success. Now we need to close this and we have to check that might work. So this is what we have to do. So once afterwards, you have to check that might work. Now you can launch the game. Next one is all about we need to rename FC setup file or settings folder. Make sure that you will be losing all the saved game lost will be lost and not resolved. You can rename the FC 26. Create a back office because you will be losing everything. So to do so, go over here in the file explorer. Go to this PC, go to local disk C, your user folder, admin, app data. If you don't find the app data, click on the view. Click on show hidden items, then get into app data. Now, if we go to local, now, sorry, yes, scroll down and navigate to EA Sports FC 26. Now, you can see I have already renamed FC setup. This was FC setup, but I renamed it FC setup.alt. So, by default, this will be like this that is FC setup. Okay, now what you need to do is if we find the FC setup, we can rename it. So, just go over here rename with anything you can add one two three whatever it is just add it fc setup one two three once you set up fc setup one two three you're fine with it you don't have to do anything once you do with this you have to check with the game stay if you're having the trouble we need to rename the ea sports fc 26 but before that we have to take a backup so first you have to copy this copy this completely then you have to create a backup i have already created this then you can just rename this particular EA Sports FC 26 to new, old, whatever it is, you can do it. Then you have to check and that might work in some cases. Next one is all about try giving DX11 or DX12. So just go over here, right click and go to properties. Now first you have to go over here, remove. First you have to type DX11. Then you have to launch the game and that might work. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and you have to launch the game and that might work. Both can be that either dx11 or dx12 anything can be done and that will be working fine next one is all about we need to perform a clean installation of a graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd so the nvidia users can go over here now from here you have to uh, find the geoforce if you're on the geoforce find this if you're on the geoforce rtx find everything and go for find this will take a little bit of time and what happens is this will be running this now from here you just need to wait for a little bit of time. So uh, you have to download this particular version of a graphics card and you have to download and install it. Similarly, if you're on the AMD, just go over here, find the AMD, go to graphics, Radeon RX 5007 series. Now go over here and submit and you'll be getting the latest version of a graphics card that is Windows 11 with 64 bit edition and Windows 10 with 64 bit edition. So download this one, Windows 11 or Windows 10. Once you download and install it, you have to check and that will be working fine. Next one is all about run the game on dedicated graphics card or desktop users connect your HDMI DP cable to dedicated graphics card. So we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings. Now, sorry, you just need to click on the graphics settings. Now from here, just wait, you have to add the game. So I have already added the game. If you don't know how to add it, just click on add a desktop app. Now from here, go to uh, this PC, go to the game installation folder. So in my case, it is D. So I'll get into this Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now FC 26. Now from here, I have to select this and I have to add it. So here I have already added it. If you scroll down here, you will be able to find it. Then you have to expand this particular file. Then make sure the GPU preferences is being set into high performance. Then you have to close this and you have to check. Next one is all about make changes in exploit protection for the game exe file. So to do this, just go over here, search for exploit protection, click on this one. Now from here, just wait for a little bit of time. So click on program setting. Now we need to add the game. So I have already added it. So once you add the game, just click on edit. So you have to add the game the first. Once you add the game, just put a check on this particular box and make sure you turn off everything. So if anything is turned on, for example, I'll show you. Let me remove this first and I'll show you how we have to add it. Click on add a program 
click on add a program name sorry choose exact file path now from here go to this pc local disk d steam library steam amps common fc26 select this one and open once you add it put a check on this box put a check on these boxes then you have to uncheck this uncheck this put a check on all these boxes uncheck these put a check if anything is turned on you have to turn this off now go for apply just go for yes then you can launch the game and that might work in some cases next one allow the game to window security so what i'll do is let go over here search for the window security click on the window security now from here click on virus and threat protection now from here click on uh, manage setting now click on and or remove exclusion go for yes now from here you have to add the game you can just click on add an exclusion go to the file game in game directory and add the game then you have to close it go over here search for the control panel click on the control panel now from here click on windows defender firewall go to allow nampor feature through windows defender firewall now from here click on ea sports fc 26 now from here scroll down a little bit and as you can see i have already added ea sports fc 26 here so once you find it just make sure that you want ea sports fc 26 then put a check on this box private and public if you don't find it you can click on change setting click on allow another app navigate to the game directory clicking on the browse and you can add the game once you add it you have to put a check on both the boxes then you have to check next one is all about we need to run ea update run ea app recovery run ea app uninstall and reinstall the latest version of app to do so we just need to go over here search for ea app right click and click on open file location first go over here we have to run it as an administrator and go for yes just wait for this to get completely done for me i have already done this that is why once you're done you can go to the next one sorry not this one go over here ea updater right click and go to run as administrator go for yes this should also take less than five second now just go back once again now click on ea app recovery run as administrator go for yes now it might ask you for clear the cache go for clear cache then you have to launch the game and you can check next one is we need to run ea app or steam as an administrator don't get confused the reason why i'm showing you everything with the steam because i don't have the game on the ea app so if you're having the ea app search for the ea app and if you're having the game on it right click and go to run as administrator and you have to check and that might work if you're having the steam just search here for the steam then click on run as administrator and you have to run it as an administrator and you have to check and that might work as well. Next one we need to try power saving mode turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. To do so go over here search for the control panel. Click on the control panel. Now from here you have to change this to category. Click on hardware and sound. Click on power options. Now from here change this to power saver. So if you are having on anything, change this to the power saver and you have to check. Next one, go over here, search for settings, click on the settings. Now from here, you just need to click on, uh, from here, go to system, go to, uh, not here. Go to system, go to graphics, click on this one and if it is turned on, Turn this off and launch the game. If it is already turned off, turn this on. Then you can check with the game. Both can be done. Next one, unplug all the external devices such as hotas, wheels, pedals, razor, etc. Everything can be done. Then you can check. Next one is all about uninstall and reinstall the game. The last and the least one, just go over here, right click and go to manage, uninstall the game. Then you can reinstall it back. While reinstalling it back, you have to make sure one thing. You should not be installing back on the same local disk. For me, I'm having the game on E, so D. So either I have to try E or C, then I have to check and that might work. And these are the steps. And I hope this quick video is helpful. That's it. Bye-bye.